Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Boxiest, and today we are going to continue the What If series. What if events had gone differently? And in this What If, we're going to change the history of Cobra Kai. What if Terry Silver never betrayed Kreese at the end of Cobra Kai Season 4? So in this timeline, the events of Cobra Kai Season 4 would still happen. Terry Silver wouldn't plan to betray Kreese. The season would still end the same way. Cobra Kai would still win the All Valley because Terry Silver paid off the referee. Miyaido and Eagle Fang would be forced to shut down. Robbie would still go to Johnny in this timeline. And Miguel would still run away. Daniel would still get chosen in this timeline. Cobra Kai would start expanding and growing. Kreese and Terry Silver would train their students. Kreese would be worried about Tori because she hadn't been to the Cobra Kai dojo. So Kreese would go visit Tori and at first, Tori wouldn't want to talk to Kreese, but eventually Tori would admit what was bothering her. She would say that she found out that Terry Silver bribed the referee. Kreese would be surprised, and he would confront Terry, but Terry Silver would say that it was a matter of Cobra Kai's survival, and that he wasn't going to let Lawrence or LaRusso win. Kreese would be mad, but he would understand why Terry did that, and the events of Cobra Kai would carry on. Kreese would eventually convince Tori to come back to Cobra Kai, Kreese would hear that Daniel shut down Miyaido, so Kreese would go find Eli. Eli would ask Kreese what he wanted. Kreese would tell Eli that it was a mistake letting him go, and that he should have tried getting him sooner. He would say that Eli was a champion, that he wasn't like the rest of the Miyaidos, and that he deserved to be with the champion dojo, and he would invite Eli to join Cobra Kai again. But Eli would tell Kreese that he wants nothing to do with Cobra Kai, that it turned him into a bully and against all his friends. So Eli would refuse Kreese's offer. Terry Silver would still want to hire some senseis to help run Cobra Kai. And those events would stay the same. Chosen would still infiltrate Cobra Kai. But Kreese and Terry Silver would find out. And the rest of the senseis would fight Chosen. Johnny would still come back from Mexico. And he would want to help Daniel take down Cobra Kai. Things would still be personal between him and Kreese. Kreese would want to go recruit Robbie again. Robbie would thank Kreese for everything that he did for him, but Robbie would tell Kreese that he was done with Cobra Kai. And without Robbie around, Kreese would want Kyler to be Cobra Kai's top male student. So Kreese would focus his time on training Kyler. Terry Silver would still want to hire Master Kim Dayun. So Terry Silver would still hire Master Kim, and she would join Kreese and Terry. Terry Silver would still want to register Cobra Kai for the Saikai Taikai, but Kreese would tell Terry that Cobra Kai wasn't ready. Johnny, Daniel, and Chosen would reform Miyagi Fang a lot sooner in this timeline. Kreese would go confront Daniel and Johnny. He would remind them of the deal they made, but Daniel would say that they weren't going to honor a deal with men that have no honor. So Kreese would tell Johnny and Daniel that a war was coming, that Miyagi Fang better be careful. So Kreese would get some of Master Kim Sensei's to burn down Miyagi and the next day, Daniel would find Mr. Miyagi's house burned to the ground. He would be angry, and Daniel would think that it was Kreese and Terry Silver. So they would go to Terry Silver's house. So Daniel would confront Terry Silver and Kreese with Johnny and Chosen. But they would be surprised that Master Kim and the rest of the senseis would be there. And they would start fighting. Daniel would fight Terry Silver. Chosen would fight Master Kim. And Johnny would fight Kreese. And Terry Silver would defeat Daniel. Chosen would defeat Master Kim. And Johnny would defeat Kreese. So the rest of the senseis would fight Johnny, then Terry would fight Chosen, and events would stay the same. Chosen would still knock down Terry Silver, but Terry Silver would still slash him with a sword. So Chosen would be left bleeding out, and Terry Silver would call the police, and the police would come arrest Daniel, Johnny, and Chosen. Chosen would be deported, and Miyagi Fang would be forced to shut down again. Cobra Kai would continue to operate. Terry and Kreese would continue training their students in the way of the fist. And that is where I'm going to end this what if. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think would have happened if Terry Silver never betrayed Kreese during the events of Cobra Kai Season 4? Let me know in the comments below. All members have access to emojis that can be used in comments and live streams. This isn't mandatory. This is only something extra. If you want to support the channel even more. YouTube lets me know that the majority of you are not subscribed, so if you guys could subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.